finding ways to overcome Despite our repeated warnings, the United States and South Korea have finally started the joint military exercise targeting, targeting the DPRK. This is an open denial and a flagrant violation of June 12 DPRK US joint statement and the last year inter Korean declarations. Although United States and South Korean authorities are playing every trick to justify this military exercise, they can neither conceal nor whitewash its aggressive nature in any manner. What is more serious is that the United States is inciting military tension hostile to, to, to the DPRK by deploying a large amount of latest offensive military hardware in South Korea. These facts prove that the U.S. and South Korean authorities do not have any political will to implement the joint statements in which they pledged to improve bilateral relations, and that this also shows that they remain unchanged in their position to continue to regard the DPRK as their enemy. The U.S. and South Korean authorities talk about a dialogue but when they sit back, they sharpen a sword to do, to do us harm. If this is what they call creative approach and imaginative power beyond common sense, then we would be forced to seek a new path. Uh, let me just make very clear, uh, the United States is not inciting military pressure 